in the Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Arduino projects. In one of my Arduino tutorials playlist, I have already uploaded a video on gas sensor. So in that we have seen how to interface with the Arduino and read the values coming from the sensor. So using the same in today's video, I'll be making LPG gas detection safety project. So make sure you watch the complete video. We'll see the components required for this project. You need an Arduino board. To power up the board, either you can use the Arduino USB cable or a 9 volt battery with this round pin connector. Next, we need MQ gas sensor. In this, there are a lot of sensors. So based on your requirement, you can select the appropriate one. Here I'm using MQ4 sensor, which can detect methane, propane or butane. For proper demonstration, I have also selected this gas regulator. Next, a servo motor. Here I have used SG90 servo motor with plastic gears, but I would suggest you to go with the bigger servo motor which comes with metallic gears. To power up the servo motor, the Arduino 5V power is not sufficient. As an external 5V supply, I'll be using this power bank and a waste USB cable. Next, I'm using this exhaust fan. 5V relay module. A power supply according to the fan specifications, which is 12 volts in my case. A small buzzer and at last some jumper wires. Moving on to the connections. First, I'll connect the ground and VCC of the MQ4 sensor to Arduino 5V and ground. The analog output from the sensor goes to Arduino analog pin A0. The positive and negative terminal of the buzzer goes to Arduino digital pin 11 and ground. Moving to the servo and relay module. These consume more power which is not sufficient from the Arduino 5V. So I'll be using the 5V external supply from the power bank. Since we need for both of these components, I'll be taking 5V and ground common on the breadboard. The VCC and ground of the servo motor goes to external 5V and ground. The signal pin goes to Arduino digital pin 3, which is a PWM pin. The VCC and ground of the relay module also goes to 5V and ground of the external supply. The input signal pin goes to Arduino digital pin 2. Also, we have to connect the ground from the external 5V with the Arduino ground. At last, for the exhaust fan, the negative terminal directly connects to the battery negative. So the positive terminal from the battery goes to NO terminal of the relay module. And the positive terminal from the motor goes to common terminal. So this is all about the connections. If you face any difficulties, you can refer to the provided circuit diagram below. For proper demonstration, 
I'll mount all of these components on a wooden plank. Moving on to the code, first we have the declaration of all the components used. Only the gas sensor is connected to analog pin and rest are connected to digital pins. Also I have declared one variable called gas threshold. Default value I have kept it as 400. So this is the value from the sensor which indicates there is a gas leakage. This you have to update it later based on your sensor. Next in the setup function, we are setting the modes of all the components, the sensor to input and relay buzzer and LED as output devices. Also, I'm setting the default state of all the components. Servo by default will be in zero degree. LED buzzer and relay will be in off state. And finally, in the loop section, we are reading the sensor value through analog read function and also printing that on the serial monitor. So using simple if statement, I'm checking if the value from the sensor is crossing the defined gas threshold, which is defined in the declaration. Once the value crosses this threshold, it indicates there's a gas leakage. So in this case, I'm turning on the LED, I'm turning on the relay and also the buzzer. And to switch off the regulator, I'm activating the servo motor and changing the shaft to 35 degrees. So this degree also can be modified based on your hardware setup. So in case if there is no gas leakage, then I'll keep LED buzzer and relay in the off state. So this is a simple code. I'll upload this and we'll see how it works. We'll start with the testing. I've kept the sensor here near the gas. By default, the regulator is on. Fan and buzzer are in the off state. As soon as I trigger the gas leakage, we can see the regulator turned off, buzzers start making sound and also the exhaust fan gets activated. Once the gas leakage reduces, the exhaust fan switches off and buzzer stops making sound. But the regulator will be still in the off condition. Now manually we have to press the reset button. The regulator goes to on state. So this is all about the LPG gas leakage safety project. For code and circuit, you can follow the link from the description box. For more videos, stay tuned and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. I'll be back in the next one.